Hi there and welcome to the Daily Arsenal News Show. Let's dive into today's top stories. Eurogiants want to sign Cedric Soares after his Gunners deal expired. Cedric Soares is being courted by European giants Ajax as he enters the free agency market after leaving Arsenal. The Portugal international was unable to convince the Gunners to offer him a new contract and is now seeking a new club. Soares was one of the first signings under Mikel Arteta, initially joining Arsenal on loan. However, he quickly lost his place in the squad as Arteta continued to strengthen the team. Despite attempts to offload him before his contract expired, Soares stayed at the Emirates until his deal ran out four days ago, making him a free agent. According to the Daily Mail, the 32-year-old is now being pursued by Ajax, who are looking to add experienced players to their squad. With Jordan Henderson already in their ranks, Soares could become the next former Premier League star to join the Dutch club. Soares did not play much for us in the final years of his deal at the Emirates, but he did well at the starts of his spell with us, and we wish him the best. Stewart Pearce explains why Saka is struggling at the Euros. Former England manager Stewart Pearce has commented on Bukayo Saka's struggles at Euro 2024, shedding light on why the Arsenal star is having trouble in the competition. Saka, who excels in the right wing position for Arsenal, has found it difficult to replicate that form for England. In fact, many of England's stars are struggling to make an impact in the competition. In their last game, England needed a new left back and Gareth Southgate deployed Saka in that role during the second half. Saka hopes to return to his preferred right-wing position for their upcoming match against Switzerland. However, Pierce believes Saka's struggles are partly due to a lack of support from Kyle Walker. Walker, who plays as the team's right-back behind Saka, has not been as helpful as needed, according to Pierce. He suggests that Walker must do more to assist the Arsenal man in finding his form on the pitch. He said the following, as quoted by Metro Sport, I feel sorry for Saka because, and I have mentioned it many times in commentary, Kyle Walker as a fullback is not helping this boy out. He's got to do more for him. He really has because I like Saka. I think he is an outstanding player, but unless you've got a distraction run from your fullback, your work is that much harder to try and get turned and face the opposition up. Saka needs that help more than we know because they play on the same flank and hopefully Walker will become more helpful soon. Midfielder gives the go-ahead for his move away from Arsenal. Albert Sambi Lokonga has accepted a move to Sevilla, giving the club the green light to sign him from Arsenal. The La Liga side has been the most serious suitor for Lokonga in the past week as Arsenal looks to offload him. Despite his loan spell at Luton Town ending in relegation, Lokonga remains confident in his ability to play for a top club and Sevilla has stepped in to secure his services initially. The Spanish club sought to reach an agreement for a simple loan. However, given that Lokonga has no future at Arsenal, the Gunners insisted on including a conditional obligation to sign him permanently. Although the exact details of the compromise are unclear, a report in the Daily Mail claims the midfielder has now approved the move. Lokonga is expected to complete the transfer in the coming days, with Arsenal eager to remove him from their roster. Sambi Lokonga has simply not been good enough, and now is the time for him to find a new home. It would be interesting to see how he performs in Spain, but hopefully he would do well enough to secure a permanent move to Sevilla. Four-time European champions eyeing outstanding Arsenal player. According to Sky Sports News, the four-time European champions are now considering a move for the Gunners' left-back, Nuno Tavares. Tavares has returned to the Emirates Stadium after expanding the 23-24 campaign at fellow Premier League side Nottingham Forest. The 24-year-old was also away on loan during the 22-23 season, plying his trade for a French outfit Marseille. Tavares joined Arsenal from Benfica three years ago for a reported £8 million fee. 
but he has made it just 28 appearances in all competitions. Tavares has certainly shown glimpses of quality at Arsenal and on loan over the past few years. For instance, Igor Tadar, who managed Tavares at Marseille, sang the players' praises in 2023. He said, Nuno's is still a young player, but he has fantastic physical capabilities. He's got an outstanding ability to run. He could play at Real, at Barcelona, at Man City. He still needs to grow and progress. We talk a lot to him. However, Tavares simply hasn't kicked on at Arsenal, and it doesn't look as though he has a future at N5. With that in mind, the Gunners will likely be keen on opening talks with Ajax over his signature. Arsenal haven't given up on signing £60 million player yet. Martin Zubimande is a player the Gunners are said to be keen on, but despite 18 months worth of links, Mikel Arteta's side are yet to make in roads to road signing the Spanish midfielder. Writing for Cout of Side, Charles Watts has been discussing Zubimande's future and he's given an interesting update on the Real Sociedad star, claiming that Arsenal haven't totally given up hope of signing Zubimande yet. Watts shared his verdict on the Zubimande to Arsenal links by saying the following. It will be interesting to see what happens with Martin Zubimande once the Euros comes to an end. His future will be decided one way or the other, and we know Arsenal are long-term admirers. Getting him out of Real Sociedad won't be easy, as he has suggested himself, given his love for the club, but I don't think Arsenal have totally given up hope on that one yet. Arsenal haven't given up on Martin Zubimande, but this deal won't be easy to do. Indeed, the £60 million man is a local lad, and he is very settled in San Sebastian applying for Real Sociedad. Zubimande has said as much himself, claiming that he sees an exit as a long away. He said the following, I haven't thought about it. I feel very loved by the people I love, and for the moment, I see it far away. We value a lot about him. We feel represented, and since I am a participant in this project, it would be a shame to leave it. Getting this deal done won't be easy, but as Arsenal have shown in the transfer market in recent years, the Gunners can often get what they want in the situations. Arsenal are expected to sign world-class player in the next few hours. Mikel Arteta and Edu Gaspar are clearly hard at work identifying a number of targets and negotiating deals. With that said, they are now expected to wrap up a deal for one of their rumored targets. According to Correr di Bologna, Arsenal are expected to make a second offer worth £46.5 million for Ricardo Calafiori after their initial bid was rejected. The Bologna defender has attracted widespread interest after his exceptional performances for Italy at Euro 2024. Chelsea, Newcastle, West Ham United and Juventus have all been mooted as potential destinations, but it's Arsenal who lead the race. In fact, it's a claim that a deal to sign Calafiori could be completed in the next few hours or, at the latest, by the weekend. Arsenal have offered the Italian defender a five-year contract worth £2.9 million a year, which has given the North Londoners a clear advantage in negotiations. Arteta has been in the market for a left-footed defender, potentially to replace Jakob Kivior, and it appears he has his man, who has been labelled worthy class. Kivior could now depart for Juventus, whilst Nuno Tavares, who also operates in a similar position, could leave for Ajax as we mentioned before. The transfer window is really starting to crank up a gear for Arsenal, and they are now expected to go after sporting striker Viktor Gyogores. It's said to be a busy week ahead for Edu and the club chiefs as they negotiate a number of high-profile deals. Arsenal sends out an offer for Euro 2024 star, but Chelsea wants to triple his salary. Arsenal are eager to secure the signing of Nico Williams, but they face a strong competition from Chelsea, who are also serious about acquiring the Spanish winger. Williams has been impressive for Spain at Euro 2024, raising the likelihood of his departure from Athletic Bilbao after the tournament. 
While his brother Inaki Williams has spent his entire career at Athletic Bilbao, there is a belief that Nico might choose a different path despite his current contentment at the club. Arsenal remains determined to bring Williams to their squad and has reportedly made an offer for Bilbao to consider, according to us. However, Chelsea has indicated their readiness to pay Williams' release clause and offer him a lucrative contract of 15 million euros per season, which is three times his current salary. With this attractive offers on the table, Williams faces a significant decision about his future. It will be interesting to see if Arsenal or Chelsea can persuade him to join their ranks. Williams is currently one of the finest wingers in Europe, and adding him to our squad will make us much better. However, it remains unclear if he will decide to leave his present club now, having signed a new contract not so long ago. Arsenal will now move to sign lethal striker after deciding Victor Osiman is too expensive. According to Correr dello Sport via the Standard, Arsenal have deemed Napoli striker Victor Osiman too expensive. They now favor a move for Sporting's Victor Giogores who is considered the cheaper alternative among the list of forwards. The 26-year-old has an £85 million release clause, but is expected to be available for less than that. TBR reported last month that Arsenal were only prepared to pay up to £60 million for the lethal forward, who netted 43 times, whilst lying on 15 assists last term. Giogores' FBRF statistics make for very impressive reading, and only amplify why he'd be a perfect fit for Arteta's title-chasing side. He ranks in the top 1% for progressive carries and successful take-ons per 90, compared to his positional peers across Europe. Further, he sits in the top 4% for non-penalty goals and assists, evincing how well-rounded his game is. Yogores is more than just a goal scorer. His link-up play is fantastic, and he'd create plenty of chances for Arsenal's other forwards should a deal go through. A telling few weeks lie ahead. I will be uploading daily Arsenal news, so keep your eyes on the channel, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.